Welcome back to the channel guys, let's get into it. Special shout out to Kuma Plays for finding last week's hidden character. For this week, there's going to be a character from the Justice League hidden throughout the clips. Same rules apply, first to comment down below the name of that character with the correct timestamp, gets a shout out for next week's video. Let's get it. So is Battlefield 5 worth getting right now? In order to answer that question, I feel like we should look at a few main topics within the game and first on that list should be the lobby. Just because the game came out in what, 2018? So I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering, are people even playing the game or the lobby's empty at all, full, like what's going on? So first things first, you can, you know, you guys can go to advanced settings, pick your game modes based on what you like and your map selection. And here you have a, a wide variety of options right here for the servers that you guys liked based on your preference, which I love about. So you know what map you're getting into, it shows you the player count and it shows you your ping. I compare it to 2042, you launch the game and you only have these four options for game modes. So that right there does not sit right with me. And you launch the game and it just automatically puts you in matchmaking. You have no knowledge of what map you're going to go into. You have no say at whether it has a full player count, a low player count, or if the ping is a good connection or a bad connection. I don't like that about 2042 at all. They need to fix that. Now you could go under portal like I'm like I am right now and try to pick one of these servers that people have created. But look at look at the player count. It's it's always low and the pings are always not good. So in this topic regarding the lobbies, Battlefield 5 clearly wins in a landslide. Now moving on to topic number two, which is mobility, and it's absolutely beautiful in Battlefield 5, okay? Like Look, I'm over here jumping over rocks like it's nothing. Look at look at the slide. I'm over here sliding over cars while I shoot, man. Shout out Bobby and Tom Cruise. But anyway, like it's beautiful in Battlefield 5, okay? I compared to 2042 and look at the slide. Like, ew, man. Like, and not even that. Don't get me look at this. Don't even get me started on jumping over rocks. Like, you get stuck. You can't you're like I, I have no words. Just look at this. Look how horrendous it is. I can't put into words how annoying it is because you get clapped. Why am I getting stuck between a rock and some tree right now? Why? Clearly, yet again, Battlefield 5 takes this round over 2042. Easily, okay? And for those wondering why I don't just drive around and use a vehicle, that's a good question because that leads me to my next topic, which is vehicles. And in Battlefield 5, that's not an issue at all. Give me a hill not an issue a rock not a damn issue i'm still driving forward but in 2042 put a rock in front of me a pebble oh i'm, I'm doing 360s like i'm um, like a damn tornado okay you cannot drive in 2042 man without getting hella airtime. so yet again battlefield 5 takes the win in this topic next on the list we have the gun selection when it comes to battlefield 5 and you basically pick your class and it gives you the options right here to customize your specs on the right hand side it gives you and shows you what it does to your gun how it benefits your gun and how it hurts your gun you can customize your gun and also replace your gun it gives you a whole bunch of options of guns to choose from now you can also pick your gun once you die mid game and you're basically back to where you were before on the home screen comparing it to 2042 selecting your gun really isn't too different same thing in the main screen you have the option to change your sight, your ammunition, your underbarrel, and your barrel. And you can click each column and it get, basically gives you on the left hand side more detail into what it does to your gun specifically. And also same thing, once you guys die, mid game, you have the option to change your gun and it basically puts you back where you were before. Now what I can add to 2042 to help it in this topic is that now you can change your sight mid game just like I'm showing you guys right now which I will say gives 2042 a slight advantage over Battlefield 5 regarding the guns. And with guns come the soldiers, and as we all know, for 2042, we now have specialists, and a lot of them, to be honest, I think we're at 11 right now. So if you guys don't like this aspect regarding 2042, Battlefield 5 is back to the basics, man. It has the assault, medic, support, and recon. So to be honest, to each their own regarding this topic, whether you like the specialist aspect of it or if you just want to stick to the original four classes. And lastly on the list, we have the minimap guys. And I have been stressing about this since day one. Okay, 
Now for Battlefield 5, it's not an issue. It's on the left hand side. You pop it open. It's transparent. It does not bother you. You move. It moves with you. Not an issue at all. Now look at 2042. You pop it open and it's blocking your entire view. Now it did get better. It's a little bit transparent, but you can't move. Once you pop it open, you're locked moving that direction. So you can't turn left, you can't turn right unless you take it off. And I absolutely hate it, man. So Battlefield 5 gets the dub for this last topic. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and the list of topics gave you guys an insight of whether or not you should be playing Battlefield 5 or not. Because I know me personally, I'm still rocking with it. I know I'm uploading 2042 content, but sometimes I got to cool down from that game. So I switch back to Battlefield 5. But anyways, I know I probably missed a few topics, so make sure to leave that down in the comment section if I did and if you guys have an idea. And also, if you guys agreed or disagreed with what I said in the video. But anyways, like I always say, guys, make sure to be back next week for another video. Peace.